In this session we're going to have a tour around the Access environment and have a look at the features that are available to us. To start with we'll select a blank database and we'll click once. It'll open up to a blank database and it wants to save this on our desktop and we can actually give it a file name. So in this case here we're just going to call it tour. Now whenever we create a new database it actually writes directly to the database every time we make a change. So unlike a Word document or a spreadsheet where you need to go and save all the time, when we make changes in a database, they happen instantaneously and are recorded. So just remember, when you make a change, like add a record, it instantly saves. You don't have to go up to the little save icon. So once we've done that, we can click on Create. And we start with a table sheet view at the moment. Now up the top, we have File, much the same as most Office applications. Also we have create, etc. Now on the left hand side here there's a little pull down arrow. In here we're able to select all objects and we can actually leave that where it is and have them grouped by object type. Therefore at the moment we have one table which is called table 1 but as we add queries and we add reports and we add forms they'll all appear in this list as we go down here. I'm going to close the table to start with so we've got to complete blank database. Now underneath the create tab we can create different objects so in here we can actually create a table this is where the information will be stored then we can actually create queries we can actually also create forms and we can also create reports as well. Some of the other things we need to be aware of is the database tools. The relationship is very very important and we'll be coming in here and using that and through the course we may actually use macros as well and if you need to you can also go in the Visual Basic and code directly into the back end of Access if needed. So these are the major areas you need to be aware of and so we'll be heading back to create in the next tutorial and we'll be creating a new table to enter in some student information and start looking at different field properties.